In this lesson, we are gonna be dividing polynomials and specifically, we're gonna be looking at questions that don't have any remainders. In the next lesson, we will be looking at questions that have remainders. So here's our first example. So we have five x to the power of three. Actually, we're gonna write it in a bit of a different way. We can say five x to the power of three plus 19 x squared plus 15x plus nine. And by the way, there is also a technique called synthetic division. We will be looking at that in future lessons, but not in this lesson. In this lesson, we're gonna be doing it the old, or like the, the, like the older way. Okay, so like this. And okay, so let's just do, let's write this a bit better. All right, so what you do is you're gonna look at the largest power over here and you're gonna look at the largest power over here. So that would be the x3 and the x because that's to the power of one. And you are gonna divide those two things by each other. So you're gonna say 5x3 divided by x. And what does that give you? That gives you 5x to the power of two. So you're gonna put that up at the top here. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you are gonna take this part and you're gonna multiply it with this, okay? And you're gonna write the answer over here. So if you had to multiply 5x, so, so for example, we're actually gonna be doing this, 5x to the power of two multiplied by x plus three, and so that's gonna give us 5x to the power of three plus 15x squared. So we're gonna say 5x to the power of three plus 15x to the power of two. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little trick. What I want you to do now is change the signs of these ones. So if it's positive, make it a negative. And then what you do is you just add these parts together. So that's gonna give five minus five is zero, and then 19 minus 15 is four. Okay, and then what you can do is you can just write this part, you can just carry that all down like that. And now what we do is we start the process all over again. So we start by looking at the largest power here and the largest power here. So that's gonna be the four x to the power of two and it's going to be the x. And you're gonna divide them, okay? So you're gonna say four x to the power of two divided by x and what does that give us? That gives us four x. So you're gonna put that up at the top over here. Then what do we do? You take this part and you multiply it with this. And so that's gonna give us four x to the power of two plus 12 x. And then we switch the signs. So this will become a negative and this will become a negative. And then you just add these parts together. So the four x two and the four x two, they're gonna cancel. And then the 15 x and the 12 x, that's gonna become a three x and then plus nine. And then we start the process all over again. So we look for the largest power here and the largest power here. And so that's gonna be the x over here and the three x over there. And so you're gonna divide them and that gives you three. So you're gonna say plus three. Then you're gonna take that three and you're gonna multiply it with that whole part there. And so that would become three x plus nine. And then you're gonna switch the signs again and then add these two parts together so it just becomes zero. You see what I mean when I say there's a remainder of zero. And so the final answer would be this over here. Here's our next example. So we're gonna go write it out as 5p3, take away 10p squared, take away 14p, take away three. And then we're gonna divide that by p minus three. So we just write it like that. Okay, so the way that we start is you're gonna look at the highest power over here and the highest power over here. Let's actually turn this into some steps. Or no, it's gonna get a bit complex. I think by just doing a lot of examples, you'll get the, the rhythm or the process that we need to follow. So the highest power over here is gonna be the 5p3 and the highest power over here is the p. So you're gonna divide them. Okay, so we're gonna say 5p3 divided by p, and that's gonna give us 5p to the power of two. So then what you do is you put that up at the top over here, and now what we do is we take that and we multiply that with this over here. So let's just write that out for ourselves. Okay, and so that's gonna give you 5p to the power of three. Okay, let's write that over here rather. 
5p to the power of 3, take away 15p to the power of 2, and then what you do is you switch the signs of this part of here. So you put a, if that's a positive, you make it a negative, and if that's a negative, you make it a positive, and then you just add these parts together. So 5 take away 5 is 0, minus 10 plus 15 is 5, p to the power of 2, and then you can just carry down the rest of the, the, the term. So negative 14p, negative 3. And now we start the process from the very beginning again. So we take the highest power over here, and we take the highest power over here. So the highest power in this part would be the 5p to the power of 2, and the highest power over here would be p. So what you're going to do is you're going to divide them, and that's going to give you 5 p. So you put that 5p over here, and then you take that 5p, and you multiply it with this part over here. So let's just write that out. Okay, so we're multiplying those parts. So that's going to give you 5p to the power of 2, take away 15p, and then you're going to switch the signs. So this one was positive, so you make it a negative, and then this one you make a positive. And now, if you had to go add all of that together, this part should cancel out, well, this part should cancel out. And then negative 14 plus 15 is positive 1. And then you just bring down the negative 3. And once again, we start the process again. So we look for the highest power over here. And we look for the highest power over here. Which in this case is going to be, for this one down at the bottom, it's going to be the P. And for this one up at the top, it's also going to be a P. And so you divide them. So P divided by P is 1. So you're going to say plus 1 over here. And then you're going to take this plus 1, and you're going to multiply it with this part over here, which will give you p take away 3. Switch the signs. So if this one's positive, make it a negative. And if this one's a negative, make it a positive. Add them up, and you get 0 as your remainder. As I said, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at questions that have a 0 remainder. But in the next lesson, we will be looking at questions that do have a remainder. So the final answer for this question would be this up at the top over here. Okay, so here's our next example. So we're going to take 3x to the power of 3, take away 8x to the power of 2, plus 20x, take away 25. And then we're going to divide that by 3x, take away 5. So let's just write it over here. So it's just a long process, but once you understand the steps, you just have to keep doing that. So what we do is we look for the highest power over here and the highest power over here. And so that when I say highest power, by the way, I'm talking about the exponent. So for example, that, that power is a 3, that's a 2, that's a 1. And then this doesn't have any x, so this power, you can think of it as a 0. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say power. So, okay, so the highest power in this part is this over here. And the highest power over here is this one over here. So we're going to divide them. So 3x to the power of 3 divided by 3x. So the x's would, well, the 3's would cancel, and the x's would cancel to become an x to the power of 2. So we're going to put an x to the power of 2 like that. Then we're going to multiply that with 3x take away 5. So let's just write that over here. And so that's going to become 3x to the power of 3 take away 5x squared. Well, I don't know why I'm writing that there. Let's actually do it in the right place. So 3x to the power of 3, take away 5x squared. Then here's where you can do the sign switch. So you're going to change this one to a minus, change that one to a plus, And then you're just going to put them all together. So 3x, 3 take away 3 is 0. Minus 8 plus 5 is take away 3, or negative 3. Then bring down the other numbers. So plus 20x take away 25. And now we just start the process all over again. So we look for the highest power over here, and we look for the highest power over here. So in this case, it's going to be the highest power here would be negative 3x squared, and the highest power over here would be 3x. And so now what we do is we divide those again. So that's going to be negative 3x squared divided by 3x. And so the 3s would cancel, and then you would be left with an x at the top. So, and, and we also have that negative, so we're going to be left with negative x. So we can put negative x up here at the top. And then what you do is we take that negative x and we go ahead and we multiply that with the 3x minus 5. 
So we can say negative three, I'm sorry, negative x, and then three x take away five. Okay, so that would give you um, negative three x squared plus five x, and then do the sign switch. So if this is negative, change it to a positive, and if this is positive, change it to a negative, and then what you do is you just add all of this together. So the three x squares would cancel out, and then 20 minus five is 15, and then there's still a negative 25 left over. And you guessed it, we'd start the process again. So we look for the highest power over here, and we look for the highest power over here. And so um, that's gonna be the three, let's just cancel, that's gonna be the three x over here, and that's gonna be the 15 x over here. And so we would have to divide those. So 15 x divided by three x, the x's would cancel and you'd be left with five, and so that's gonna be plus five. Then you take that five and you multiply it with three x minus five, and that's gonna give us 15 x take away 25. Then do the sign switch over here. So change this to a negative, change this to a positive, and then everything cancels out like that. And so our final answer would be this number here at the top.